dropping like crazy. Earth's use fell through 1.10 on Friday prompting President Trump to describe the euro as dropping like crazy. Given a very weak eurozone growth outlook, Brexit event risk reaching a crescendo and Italy seemingly priced to perfection, it's hard to see the Earth's use trend turning soon. In this video, used, is the dollar the only game in town? Err, dropping like crazy. GBP, steering clear of the pound. Latam, capital controls return in Argentina. Used, is the dollar the only game in town? The dollar heads into a new month at the highest level in two years. Despite the Federal Reserve having delivered a rate cut, this hasn't been enough to compensate for the very poor activity outlook overseas which has largely been a function of the trade war. Here, the latest round of U.S. and Chinese tariffs went into effect yesterday and assuming that neither side gives ground over coming months, another round of tariffs goes into effect on the 15th of December. This comes at a time when investors remain very pessimistic on growth trends. U.S. 2-10-year curve remains inverted and overseas developments remain concerning. Over the weekend, Argentina had to resort to the kind of capital controls last seen in 2001. While in Europe, politics in the UK and perhaps Italy as well are coming to a boiling point. Barring a surprise improvement in the trade climate, the only way this dollar trend is going to turn is if the Fed somehow cuts more aggressively than market expectations. This is a tall order given the 80 basis points of easing already priced over the next six months. But any sharp slowdown either in us August manufacturingism data released tomorrow or Friday's non-farm payrolls might prompt the Fed to reconsider easing merely being a mid-cycle adjustment. Unless that materializes though, the balance of risks favor the dollar staying supported and Xi pushing on towards the 100 level. Err, dropping like crazy. Err slash use fell through 1.10 on Friday, prompting President Trump to describe the euro as dropping like crazy. His focus, however, is still on the need for massive easing from the Fed, rather than the suggestion of FX intervention to weaken the dollar. Given a very weak eurozone growth outlook, Brexit event risk reaching a crescendo and Italy seemingly priced to perfection despite a very fragile political scene. It's hard to see the earth use trend turning soon. 1.0820-40 looks the bias this week the top of a gap left in the charts back in April 2017. GBP, steering clear of the pound. Investors will want to steer clear of the pound this week as Parliament tries to take control of the agenda by passing legislation that will prevent a no-deal Brexit on the 31st of October. This will all kick off when Parliament returns tomorrow and the opposition seeks an emergency debate. Investors will be very reluctant to buy any GBP dips, however, given a myriad of parliamentary tricks to derail new legislation. Cable can retest the 1.2025 low. LATAM, capital controls return in Argentina. The beleaguered Macri administration has reintroduced capital controls to slow the run on the Argentine peso. This echoes some of the measures seen back in 2001, shortly before Argentina defaulted. Expect pressure here to weigh on Brazil and Mexico, with positioning still warning that used slash MX sent trades to 20.50. Presented by News of Voice. More news www.newsoffvoice.com Please subscribe to our channel. Appreciate on like and comments. Thank you.